from Ryan Hinson. No score, we're in the top half of the first here at Lawrence Dumont Stadium, game one of three, and the opener of a six-game homestand. Swing and a miss at a fastball away. Chris Curran chases a fastball over the outside part. First strikeout, M League MVP waits on deck. 0-2 on Duffy, the pitch from Hinton, swing and a miss, he got him, struck him out in a high cutter, and the inning is over. Ryan Hinton strikes out two in the top of the... Present for the rest of this series, John Durant, a league umpire. 1-2 on the way, swing and a miss, he got him. Ryan Hinton already his third strikeout, came inside with a changeup. Be the seventh pitch coming up. Hinton retired the side on 11 total pitches in the top of the first inning. Giara Puto leads, the pitch, fastball right down the middle, strike three called. Ryan Hinson locks up Danny Rands with a cutter right at the knees over the heart of the plate. He was looking for something else. A double. Left-hand pitcher, right-hand batter. Here's the one-two on the way. Cutter swing and a miss. He got him. Ryan Hinson strikes out the side here on the top of the second. The Jackals get a run. I think that's all their starters have worked quickly and thrown strikes so far this season. Swing and a miss at a fastball. And there's one away. Six strikeouts now for Ryan Hinson. He fans Sabatella pounded an in with a fast contest at the end of the season. Another 0-2, swing and a miss, he got him. Ryan Hinson gets Chris Curran a swing and a fastball off the outside corner. That's the same pitch he got him with in the top half of the third. Seven left-hand pitching, including a strikeout in the second inning tonight. Swing and a miss and a fastball, and the inning is over. Ryan Hinson with his eighth strikeout of the night sets the side down, one, two, three. He punches out Yasa and Bertie Arbello, and the Jackals are down on the fourth. Parks. Teams in the American Association were even better. Swing and a miss at a slider outside. It's the bat high, Armstrong setting up away. One, two, pitch, swing and a miss. He struck him out. Ryan Hinson fans Chris Duffy for a second time tonight. His 10th strikeout of the ball game. No runs, one hit. Another 2-2 two -two pitch, swing and a miss. He got him. Ball dug out by Armstrong. He tags Giara Puto in the back. And Giara Puto has struck out. Ryan Hinson with strikeout number 11. And there's in sliders. 0-2 on Arbello. The windup from Hinson. Now the pitch. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. Ryan Hinson ties a wing that single game record with his 12th strikeout of the night. He fans Yaz and Bertie Arbello for a third time tonight. Got him swinging at a slider off the plate. Two outs and fits. And no errors for the wing nuts. Base is empty and two outs in the top of the seventh. The 0-2 pitch to Rams, and it's on the inside corner. Strike three cold. Ryan Hinson sets a wing nuts club record with his 13th strikeout of the night. He strikes out the side in order in the top half of the seventh. No runs, no hits, and nobody left on base for New York. Got a single game wing nuts record, 13 batters. He allowed one earned run and five hits and didn't allow a walk, but he is on the wrong side of a 1 0 score. The 0 2 slider swing and a miss. He got him. That's the 14th strikeout for wing nuts pitching tonight. The first time Barnes has been struck out, and Bennett may schedule to be the starting pitcher and has already made a start for the Jackals this season. And a very good bottom of the eighth. Got around an infield single from Ryan Corey. Swing and a miss at a slider inside. Chris Duffy has struck out on three pitches. A back foot slider by Daniel Bennett. 15 strikeouts for the wing that's pitching. And it's Ryan Hansen tonight. It's just a shame we couldn't pull out a victory for him. You go out there and eight innings, punch out 13, and you can't you can't get a win. We didn't deserve to win. You know, we didn't score a run. So you got to score to win, and we didn't do that tonight. It's unfortunate. It's one of those unfortunate nights where a guy pitches his tail off and we can't find a way to uh, to get a run across the plate. So, got to get better. I continue to say it, and I'm not going to keep saying it, you know, but we got to get better. We got to get better. Got to make adjustments. I'm not able to do anything early in an inning because we're not getting anybody on to lead off innings. And I'm an aggressive guy when guys are on base hitting and running, bunting guys over, but we don't have the opportunity to do that lately. So. Just unfortunate times. Like I said, we, they're going to have to make the adjustments on their own, and we've got to continue to work, continue to work. We've got a great ball club. That's no secret. We've got a lot of different dynamics. We can field the ball. We can definitely pitch. First four in the lineup have been really good. The bottom hasn't been so good. But like I said, we've got a lot of speed down there. We've got to find a ways to get on base and just create some havoc.